Yo. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, guided by Lee here again. It is October 3rd, 12.30. Just finished some emails um, and some phone calls, so I thought I'd do a video about this Lama Glass Insane Surf Rod. Um, this is a Lama Glass Insane Surf LIS 10 MS 10 foot rod rated 15 to 25 pound test, one to three ounce, that's a lie, uh, moderately fast action. Okay, why am I doing this video? Uh, this is like a $142 rod um, at Dick's. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this video is to warn you guys about buying this rod. This rod will snap if you're throwing a anything over like an ounce and a quarter lure size. This rod will snap. It won't snap right away. It'll snap, I'd say, after how many casts I do a day? Let's see. I do, I fish five hours a day, one cast a minute. That's 60, 120, 240. 300 casts a day. So I think this rod will last maybe 5,000 casts. Throwing anything near 1.5 ounce. On Sunday, I fished from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And at the end of my shift, quote unquote, <laughs> I was really trying to sling out uh, some 1.5 ounce uh, Spro jigs and out of nowhere on a cast the rod just snapped in my hands uh, the jetty was packed M bunch of guys on the jetty uh, everyone was all like oh my god can't believe you did that uh, kind of played me I'm not gonna lie I look like a herb on the jetty but um, I was kind of used to it because it had happened twice now so uh, thankfully since I bought this at Dick's I have a warranty uh, I went to Dick's the next day, um, replaced the base of the rod, um, and you know, everything's fine now because I, you know, I have a brand new rod basically. The top piece, let me disconnect this because I have it all tied up for storage. Let's take these rubber bands off, lay the base down. So the top piece is from uh, the last time I split the rod, but on Saturday, I dropped this on a big fish. I set the rod down on the jetty, wave came and basically banged the rod around uh, the rocks. So the epoxy here is a little bit cracked. So I have to figure out a way how to mend that, but the actual rod itself, the insert, is not cracked at all. There's no flex. If I squeeze it, it doesn't really move. So that's good. Um, so this top piece is still pretty much intact. These guides or whatever, they're not expensive guides. They don't look fancy like the K guides uh, that my Tiralejo has. Uh, the tip is very, very sensitive and it's very thin. You can just feel it and tell that it's not going to withstand uh, casting like a two ounce super strike popper that sinks because that's the last uh, lure that broke the first rod <laughs> and I was with my dad thankfully that day and my dad didn't say anything he just laughed a little bit but I was a little butt hurt because I was fishing with my dad acting like a pro and I snapped the rod so anyway um, that's why I'm doing this video um, thought I would give you guys a heads up about this Lama Glass Insane Surf uh, 10 foot moderate to fast action. Um, the real seat is nice. It's not a Fuji real seat, it's a Sea Guide, which never heard of that. But the foam feels nice. Uh, the real seat is pretty good. Uh, it doesn't come loose on me like sometimes on my uh, Tsunami Airwaves. Um, so that's nice. The foam feels nice. The actual bottom of the rod is nice and thin, so if you like having a thin rod to grip on, pause, uh, <laughs> this is a good rod for that. 
The butt is standard, nothing crazy, no like cork details like the new Syncroys. But just be careful when you buy this rod. If you're going to be throwing anything over an ounce and a quarter, this rod will break on you after like a few good fish. So just keep that in mind when you're out there uh, surf casting. If you manage to buy this rod, uh, just take care of it. You know, don't abuse it too much. You know, don't try to sling, you know, giant poppers or giant mag darters on this rod because this bad boy will not take it. Trust me. I'm gonna post up some of the photos of some of the fish that we caught this weekend. this rod but I think I'm gonna just leave this rod for the end of the fall run um, I only brought it out because it was attached to a reel that I was using at the time um, but I think I'm gonna keep this for end of the fall run when there's a bunch of schoolies around and maybe early spring um, when there's some mid-sized bass around like 25 to 28 inch but for the mamas I gotta pull out the Shimano Tiralejo or the Lama Glass. The other Lama Glass I have that's a little more stout and sturdy. Not as sensitive, um, which is annoying because uh, I can't feel exactly what my lures are doing on the bottom. But I'd rather, you know, be safe than sorry and break a rod on the jetty and then have to go all the way back home if the fish are hot and heavy and basically lose the bite. So share, like, subscribe. Uh, leave the comments. I'll link this rod in the description with a warning. Um, yeah, and uh, let me know what you think, guys. Keep in touch. Mm -hmm.